Hello, welcome. I'm really excited about this video. I moved to East Texas about six months ago and I am surrounded by national forests and mile after mile of dirt roads and back roads. So for the last six months, I've spent hundreds of hours pouring over maps and driving or riding hundreds of miles of back roads and dirt roads to put together an adventure route that I think is perfect for a weekend. It's 215 miles, two thirds of it is unpaved. So over a weekend, you would do 165 miles roughly on Saturday, camp at a really cool little lake in the National Forest on Saturday night, and then get up Sunday. You got about 50 more miles to do on Sunday, which lets you get home early enough to clean up your bike and your gear, or if you had a long drive in, you don't get home too late. I've also got links below in the description to a spreadsheet that's got turn-by-turn -turn directions with roads and GPS coordinates and mileages and all that stuff. I've also got a link to a GPS track and a link uh, with a Google map. Let's start with anyone that wants to drive in on Friday night. The best place to stay is Rayburn Inn. It's the closest hotel to where the route begins. So I'm actually standing in the parking lot of Rayburn Inn. That is it behind me. The rooms are clean, they're nice. Rates are relatively inexpensive. They got big parking spots because they cater to fishermen with boats. So if you trailer your bike in, there's plenty of place to park. Um, there's a Piney Point Plaza convenience store right next door. It's a gas station convenience store. Uh, if the convenience store doesn't have what you need, there's a Dollar General within walking distance. There are three restaurants within walking distance. There's the Stump, which is comfort food. There's La Chalapa, Mexican food. And there's Hamburger Depot, which is burgers. There's also uh, Kane's Meat Market and a little donut shop that both serve uh, breakfast items. If you don't wanna stay in a hotel and you'd rather camp on Friday night, I would suggest making reservations at Twin Dykes Campground. You can make reservations at www.recreation.gov. Okay, enough intro. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the bike and start making my way to the beginning of the route. When you leave Rayburn Inn, you go east on Highway 255 for a few miles and that'll take you to Highway 96. And when you get to Highway 96, you'll turn left or go north for about six or seven miles to Bradshaw Road, which is where the route begins. When you get to Bradshaw Road, you'll turn right off of Highway 96 onto Bradshaw. And this is where the route begins. There's going to be a little bit of a very smooth, very well maintained pavement. And there's going to be a little bit of pavement that's in pretty rough shape, like what you see right here. Hard pack in the tire tracks, but scattered sections of loose gravel that you have to really watch out for. Sections of loose dirt or sand that'll really keep you on your toes. There will also be sections of dirt. It is not very well maintained. You'll find some wide open places. There are also sections that are so deep and so dark that they seem primeval. You can also cross a lot of bridges because there are a lot of creek crossings. And there's going to be some sections that look less like a road and more like a trail or a path. Also get some of these dirt roads that are very well maintained and you can open it up a little bit I came to this little creek and it was kind of pretty and relaxing so I thought I'd show this to you guys There's Meat Lover's Pizza, Chili Cheese Fritos, a large Coke, and Grandma's Chocolate Chip Cookies for dessert. 
more does a grown boy need? All right, I've been properly fed and hydrated. Got a full tank of gas, so back to the route we go. All right, I am at Piney Point, and if you recall, uh, I told you that Piney Point was the convenience store gas station right next to Rayburn Inn. So yes, we are right back to where we started from this morning. Um, what that does is it gives you the option if you don't want to camp, uh, you could stop here, stay at Rayburn Inn again tonight, Saturday night, um, and then that would leave you an additional 21 miles to do tomorrow because the little lake that I mentioned earlier is about 21 miles from here. So anyway, I stopped here. Uh, I'm going to get some water. I just fueled up, and this will be my last stop for the day, so I'm going to head from here to the camp. I'm standing right here at the intersection of 35 and Forest Service Road 326. So the bike is on 35 coming towards me. And this right here is 326. If we go left, we stay on the route and it goes right to Sexton Lake, which is where I'm going to camp tonight. It's a really cool lake, but there's no facilities there. There's no utilities, no picnic tables, no fire rings, no water, no bathrooms, nothing. It's just a lake and you can camp, you know, around the shore. If you need some facilities, go this way to Boykin Springs, maybe a mile down there. And that's a formal campground, it has showers and utilities and all that kind of stuff. All right, I just got to the lake. If you can see, that's the lake behind me. But this is where I wanted to camp. Nobody's here. There are some other campers here, uh, but it's, it doesn't look too crowded right now. It's about quarter to five, so I got plenty of time. I want to set up camp, and then I want to show you guys around this lake because there's lots of camping spots around here. Uh, and then I'm probably going to collect some firewood and get a fire going, and then I'll have some dinner. Camp is set up. Got my camping chair right there by the little fire pit. Perfect view of the lake. see behind me here is uh, Forest Service Road 326. That's the road we came in on. And I'm going to turn the camera around and narrate from behind it. But this is the entrance to this little uh, camping area. And I'm going to show you from here immediately you have three options. So right here off to the right, a point over here, there's some good flat spots back in there to set up camp and there you could actually set up quite a few tents back in there if you needed to. You can see that kind of off to the left is another uh, pretty big area with lots of flat spots if you had a big group. And this right here is probably the premier area uh, to set up camp. It's real close to the water. It's got a real nice view. It's got a fire ring set up and there's plenty of spots to set up tents in here. There's a road that goes all the way around this lake. There's a group that has, I see, I see a van with like a tent on the back of it. You can see that right there. And then there's a couple of tents. And then a rooftop tent over there. Last time I was out here, there were six or eight Jeeps in this area, Jeeps and trucks, all doing kind of the overlanding thing. but. All of this, you can see back there, there's all kinds of spots back up there. And if I rotate back this way, there's all kinds of spots all around here. All up, all up through this section uh, are good places to camp. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, go get some firewood. I think I got everything I need. I got the super skinny dry stuff, a little bit bigger, and then all the firewood I'm going to burn. Now I just need to get everything started. I'm going to sit here and have a coke for a little while and relax, enjoy the fire, watch the sun go down. And then I'm going to make dinner. I thought while I'm sitting here by the fire, I might go over 
the ride today. I saw a ton of wildlife today. I was kind of surprised, but uh, I saw three deer, two roadrunners, saw a bald eagle, a wild turkey, a huge coyote, biggest coyote I've ever seen, and a little turtle, little tiny turtle crossing the road, and a snake basking in the sun on the road. Anyway, I've been sitting here thinking about what I want to call this ride. And I think what I'm going to call it is Ed Bar, East Texas Backroad Adventure Route. I like that. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to make that the official name of this ride. What is it about a fire that's so soothing and almost hypnotic that you can just sit and watch for hours? I'm just about out of wood, so I'm going to burn the last few pieces of wood. I'm going to hit the sack. Good morning. I got up fairly early and I've already got everything packed down. I'm gonna cook some breakfast. I brought some eggs. I just put eggs in this little container and I got some ham and onions in here. A little bit of butter. A little salt. A little bit of pepper. Stir rigorously. And we have scrambled eggs. Pretty tasty. Well, this was a pretty well-maintained gravel road, which has turned into this. Which actually is going to be a lot of fun. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of a problem here. There's a big tree laying over the road. Look right here closely, some people have put some dirt and stuff right over here on this low end so you can get over it, so I'm going to give that a try. Well, we're approaching the end of the route. I'm gonna intersect with Highway 255 up here. I'm gonna hang left and head on home. All right, I'm back at Piney Point. My fuel light came on again, so I'm gonna go ahead and top it off and from here I'll head home. Anyway, that's a wrap on the Ed Bar. Hopefully you guys can get out here sometime soon.